What's up, Rockstars? Today I have the pleasure of unboxing the prototype, prototype of The Witcher The Old World. This is going to be an exciting one. This is by Go On Board. We're going to go see exactly what this looks like right now. Now, as always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. Much of the content I do, I definitely could not do if I had to worry about getting money from these game developer companies so that I can give you my honest opinion and not my wallet's opinion. So I never take any money from any game developer, including this one. And that is all thanks to them. So thank you so much for that. If you're able to give to that, if you're appreciative of what I can do here and you're able to, there's a link down below in the description. Feel free to click that at any time. But, but, don't worry if you don't want to or you can't, that's totally fine too, I get it. Don't, I, you don't have to say, I understand. A like, a comment, even a subscription so you see other unboxings and previews and talking points and Kickstarter updates and all that stuff will be greatly appreciated and it helps the channel a lot. All right, and it looks like this actually came out pretty good. So I got, I got their review copy, or their prototype, I guess I should say, of Titans. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm gonna use this to lift it out. That seems dangerous, okay. There we are. Uh, anyway, I received their prototype of Titans, and I really, really liked it. One of my favorite things about Titans was I felt it was like Rising Sun 2.0 or Rising Sun Plus Plus. It was a very well done thing. I liked their kind of take on the mandates, but I think it went better. And it had this beautiful board that had all these reminders of how to play the game. It was great. So I have high expectations for this. So uh, right off the bat, obviously, it doesn't quite fit on exactly right. There's a little bit of a, a lip there, right? It's all kind of damaged and everything. Just a black box on the on the back. But this looks nice, actually. It's linen finish and everything. A little dirty. That's okay. Probably came directly from the factory or God knows where. Uh, this took a little bit longer to get to me because the customs guys wanted to play it first. First, but I guess they're done with the game. They decided to release it to me. <laughs> okay, so we got a uh, note here from Lucas, and he said, oh look, signed. I'm very happy that the prototype of The Witcher The Old World got to you. It's a huge passion project born out of love for tabletop adventure games and The Witcher universe. I truly hope that you enjoy the game. Smiley face. Please remember that the game is still going through some final design work. It is a prototype. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to share that with us via email. Components in the box are only a prototype in the final game. Their quality and appearance may change a bit. Thank you again for your time and have a good day. Thanks. You have a good day too, man. Uh, no, I like it when they do stuff like that, even if it's just generic like that, because sometimes, as you guys have seen with the many prototypes I've unboxed, there's some wonkiness or some missing parts and like that. It's always nice to kind of have a list of that. So if you are a game developer sitting on prototypes, uh, it is kind of helpful to be like, hey, this this system here isn't quite finished yet. We're working on that. So right now it works like this or any explanation for me helps. OK, so we got some cards here. I'll do a top town version so you guys can see everything a little bit more clear and just a little bit. I'm just taking everything out first. A whole bunch here. Look at that, like full art. To, can, there you go. Full art, too. Like, that looks nice. OK, all that. Got a whole bunch of cards. Whole bunch of cards. We got some dice. We got some blue and red ones. All just six sided dice. We got some cubes, uh, wooden cubes, and uh, of various shapes too. It looks like uh, cubes and then some other kind of barn shape. It looks like a barn. Okay, we got some minis. Definitely gonna have to take a look at these. You guys know that. Okay, more wrapping. We got some uh, dual layer boards here. And very nice prototype, by the way. And then it looks like the game boards here. And then finally, it looks like a single punch board. So uh, probably not going to be super token heavy, which is nice. I don't mind that at all. Okay, uh, um, let's go ahead and change perspectives. We're going to look at this in detail, guys, show you a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to show off every card. If you want to see every single card, you can ask for a picture. Right, we can do stuff like that. You don't see a video of every card. That sounds like boring commentary. You watch the video so that you can see it and hear somebody talk about it. So that's what I'm going to do here uh, right now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to go ahead and move this up, I think, right there. Right out of 
I got a sight out of mine. Let's go and take a look at these. Now remember, if you haven't been following along, they did announce a solo and co-op mode. So it'll be competitive solo and co-op. So <laughs> your your value's there regardless, it seems. Okay, let's go and take a look at this here. Now I will say, this is kind of interesting that there's these slots here, I'm assuming for cards. So you can slot one up and one down. It doesn't look like there's any on the sides, so there is a little notch here, which I'm assuming we'll use too. I'll explain the rules overview and stuff like that in the review, of course. And so you have some armor here, you have your art. I like that it shows most of the person. Um, it definitely helps for painting as well. That being said, I have no idea what to paint his boots, but <laughs> that's just the life we live, huh? It's got the kind of the, the school there, school of the bear, and then it looks like it has a level. And then what you do, see again, they're really big on like reminders here, which I really, really like. It doesn't take away a whole lot from what I can tell. And it's really helpful to see that. Same here, you have armor, alchemy, defense, and combat. And then a little armor thing here for this character. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's a weapon and a defense thing, and that's probably what these two are perhaps, or, or maybe the weapons here. I, I, I forget, it's been a while since I've watched the video. Uh, here we have speed for this one. This is School of the Cat. Again, same things here. Looks like same rankings and all that, but you will see different values, right? So uh, definitely differences between the characters. And then, ha, see, here I can see them all. Look at that. His boots are dark colored. <laughs> There's the griffin. Uh, so you can see that as well. And you'll notice the color changes too, which is a nice touch. I dig that. And then we have uh, Jasper. One of my cat's names is Jasper. Uh, he's the viper, though, not a cat. He's got venomous steel. I like I had magic. And then swordmanship. This is the wolf. Gotta go with the wolf, right? Wolves are, wolves are the best. <laughs> Alright, but that's that. I mean, this looks nice. It's nice and heavy. And, like, for a prototype, this is... This is quality. You get the kind of shininess. I'm sure it will be a much better uh, finish uh, in the final version. But that's what we got there. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this back down. Take a look at some of these tokens here. And then the board. And then we'll look at some cards and some minis. And um, might even, I guess, glance at the dice. So uh, they're just kind of, you know, box standard stuff right now. Okay, so first things first is looking at just kind of the overall prints and stuff like that. Everything looks very easily to read. Um, I was slightly worried when I when I first flipped this over because of the kind of the darker small wording here, but this seems fine. I'm, I'm, I mean, you won't see that across the table, but uh, you might not need to either. I don't know, we'll see exactly how they're used here. The house symbols look good. Um, these enemies and their kind of art look awesome. They look really, really good. I like that. Different sizes as well. For the Oh, already punches out good. You know, it's pretty sad when the prototypes are better than some of the um, regular stuff we get in other games, right? <laughs> okay, we're going to make a little a little honeycomb out of that. Uh, let's get the wolf in there, too. So, uh, let's go and punch one out. We'll punch a big one. Take a quick look at it here. And then just kind of see. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll zoom in. We'll zoom in is what we'll do. All right, so as you can see, this cardboard is actually pretty darn good. There's a little tiny bit of a tag, but just a hint of one, and uh, no real clear lines between them. There's maybe a little bit right there. It's definitely a softer, um, like I, 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 I can pinch it, right, and kind of squeeze it. But, you know, it, it again, you go into detail with this kind of stuff, and uh, it's, at the end of the day, it's, it, it's a prototype, right? So if it sticks like that, that doesn't mean the final one will at all. Or anything like that. Um, the tags do definitely stick in, but no, this is great. Like uh, the print already looks good. Um, the colors look good. Colors are really hard on prototypes. It's one of the things you ha you sometimes have to print these out so much, right? Because you're gonna print it out, and then oh no, it's a little darker. Can you lighten it up? And then you lighten it up, and then it's too much or something. Like getting the the color saturation and the brightness on a print is much harder than I think you might think especially on stuff like cardboard and whatnot. So a lot of times in prototypes, you'll see uh, cards that tend to be really dark, but they're not they're not gonna be like that in the, the final one, unless you're the Resident Evil game, right? In which case, everything's dark, but <laughs> no, that's just kind of how it is. All right, let's go and look at the board. Uh, for Titans, I had a neoprene mat, and I must say it was very nice. So 
Uh, if you're, they offer a neoprene mat, it might be something you want to kind of splurge on. Ideally, if they do one, it's a uh, stitched, right? I always like the stitched uh, boards here, or the neoprene mats. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it out completely in a moment. For now, you're just gonna see this. I'll refocus a little bit. There you go. So again, color saturation could improve, but you know, again, prototype obviously. I really like the kind of rough edges here that it, it it's print, it's nice and smooth, it, but it looks nice. Like I really like the kind of the just the overall finish there and then the, the table on the background, right? It looks like a map you kind of laid out, which is nice. Does have these kind of cool reminders here, again, just like in their previous Titans game that I really liked. Same with here. There is a lot of symbology, right? You can see it here as well. But I have found, at least when I played Titans, that I learned it pretty quick. It was a concern of mine. It always is when I see a lot of symbols. But uh, more often than not, it uh, it uh, you, you learn it within... Uh, half a play session at the most. So uh, a lot of different symbols here, uh, but they, they tend to be pretty good with the symbols, nothing too crazy. And uh, again, you use them so much that you, you learn them pretty quick. It's not like a, oh shoot, I've played three games and never seen that symbol before. What the heck is that? Right? Um, or it only shows up once or some junk. So here's the whole thing out. It is quite long, as you can see. Uh, but it's actually not, you know, a huge amount for a game. Uh, so I'm not too concerned there. Let me zoom out a little bit more here. All right, that's as much as we're zooming out here. So you can see there's some uh, more symbols down here, some stuff. There's uh, this plus one, minus one stuff. I'm assuming this might be similar to what they did with Titans, where they kind of lay them out there uh, on top here. If I could fold it, I'll show you the top, just so you can see. Ooh, there we go. There is the one two and three here so lots of reminders everything looks like it has a space uh you're sharing a lot of uh you know just symbology and where you start and all these kind of things it looks like it it's pretty well thought out here so really happy to see that i think it looks nice and uh yeah uh, even this like the glue job is actually quite good real crisp which i like to see prototypes are kind of interesting in my opinion well, the best thing they show us, the consumers, is how far along they are and how professional they are. Now, the professional thing might not always matter. There are some true kind of indie things where they just don't have the money to, to you know, put a lot of effort into a prototype. So that's not to say um, th that, you know, the final product is going to be more professional or not. But I, what I mean is they're more established or more ready financially to maybe do some stuff. Um, I'm assuming they're not taking too many risks with their prototype printing so that, you know, if they're, if they're showing really nice and they're obviously, you know, have some money to invest into this from the beginning, which can definitely build confidence. Uh, so here's like the, the weird kind of almost barn like symbol. It looks like it's actually more like a badge than I was looking at it like this, like this was flat, but anyway, um, yeah, it looks, looks good. They're clear colored. I like that. The, um, the, they're, they're, they're separate enough for me, and again, you got the cubes and that. I don't see any, like, splintering or anything like that, so they seem nice. Uh, they're fairly light, which is good. I don't want them too heavy. Dice, I'm not going to bother taking these out. These just look like fun dice here. Um, but you do get two sets, and they are all six-sided dice, at least the prototype is. Oh, let's look at some cards and some minis. All right, so we got... I'm just going to start grabbing bags. See what we got here. See what we got. Uh, looks like all of them are borderless, right? So that's wall to wall art, which is nice. Um, the back here, really like the texture and just the, the very fine detail. The art style seems consistent throughout, from what I can tell, with the map maybe being the most different. But otherwise, these look good. Um, for the prototype, they're actually thicker and sturdier than many cards I get the final one. This is actually kind of nice. It has that slight plasticky feel, almost like a, a, a poker card, if that makes sense, in, in how it bends and flexes. Um, so I don't know if it shares the same core or not, but it's quite nice. And with larger cards like this, you need it thicker because the thinner it is and the larger it is, the worse, right? You get those big player boards that are this big. 
that are really skinny. You know what I'm talking about. They get kind of flimsy. A lot of text and reading here. Uh, it looks like this is, you probably don't want to pause any of this. I'm not really looking at it, but a lot of story events and stuff like that are uh, right here. These are probably like events that you do. See how they're numbered here? And then it looks like there might be some other stuff that's going on. Uh, so that's cool. That's cool. Uh, definitely dig the story stuff. One of the nice things about The Witcher is that even the side quests have story, right? That it's all engaging and interesting, and it's not just some mindless fetch quest you don't care about or something like that. Um, there's a few out there, but you know what I mean. Again, background looks great. I do like that it looks like they're pretty consistent with using shapes repeated like that. Um, this kind of helps tie it together, I feel. Let's say even more, dear God. Guys, if you wanted some story, I think you're good here. This is, this is reminding me a little bit of like Solomon Cain, where it's just like, oh my gosh, there's so much. Um, obviously this is like core box stuff too. This isn't even like Kickstarter exclusives or expansions or, um, you know, <laughs> stretch goals or anything like that. So it's probably just going to get more, not less. All right, now I'm going to, looks like, okay, so a, a few different types here. Let's go ahead and separate them out a little bit, just so we know what we're looking at. Lots of different types of cards, but look, again, it looks like everything kind of has a space for it, which is kind of nice. Uh, here's the different faction cards here, okay. All right, looks like this is what we got here. Whew, again, prototype, <laughs> happens a lot. You get the little, almost sawdust. Uh, these are different trophies for different things. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm purposely trying not to go into too much of them. Just kind of looking, seeing what we got. Uh, more trophies here. These are obviously, uh, per the actual, uh, houses or schools. We got some, some enemies here. And then it looks like on the other side, we probably get their art. Beautiful art. Like, really, really dynamic art, especially with like the lighting and stuff like that. I think it looks great. Uh, it looks pretty consistent to me, so I'm happy about that. Everything's standing out. You can see it uh, very clearly, um, you know, probably from the other side of the table just fine. Some of them look a little like this because of the uh, disfocus here. I think it makes it seem a little bit more, as opposed to like fogginess here, a little more digital, perhaps. I think that's kind of maybe standing out a little bit that sometimes... You, you, you get that, like here, it, that almost just looks like motion, so that didn't really affect me as much as this one. That might be the only standout one. Um, but otherwise, I think it looks great. I'm sure it was all probably made digitally, but you get what I'm saying. When I think digital look, right? There's, a, you know, like effects and stuff like that. Okay, let's see, we've got some alchemy here. Gotta have all the potions, gotta have, you know, the, the cat potion and everything. Yeah, we got blizzard and thunderbolt. Black blood. Swallow, yep, yep. So we got swallow there. Of course, that's going to be your main one. <laughs> so, yeah, cool, cool. Got a few of those. Um, This, yeah, there's only another one here. I'm assuming monsters or hunting, maybe, which would be kind of cool. Uh, okay, this is just like uh, what you would draw when you're doing an attack and stuff. Right, it's got, again, a whole bunch of symbol use and stuff like that. Looks good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's go ahead. We got one more package and then minis. So let's look at this and then we'll dive into minis. I'm excited. All right, let's see what we got here. We got packed full here, my goodness. All right, let's take half and half. Again, I probably won't look at every single one here. Let's get a kind of sense of it. Okay, flip it on its back. And again, you get that same kind of repeated pattern look. That is pretty much on all of them. The only one that didn't have that are these. Which again, I like. I like that it's all kind of the same. So these are all single kind of cards. A lot of, uh, like, I don't know, what do, you, what do you call them? Attack cards? Action cards? I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna... Looks like they are separated by color a little bit, perhaps? No, I guess not. <laughs> okay, so here you're doing your magic, like the Ard. Quick slash, year I I don't even know how to pronounce these. I never do. Uh, again, the art I think looks really nice. So far, I can see fairly consistent. Again, that that's giving me that little bit of effect as well. I think it's maybe supposed to be kind of motion, but it doesn't look swooshed. It looks blurry. Um, there is some repeated art there. Let me find. Yeah, so see, like here and here is the same thing. Let's see if 
Oh, there's Ard and Ard. So let's see if push is the same. I'm imagining so. This might just be a little mixed up. Okay. So each type has its own, but there's more than one of each one, which makes sense. Okay, now we're gonna okay, yeah, I can get some protected some protection there. Looks cool, looks cool. I dig it. Um, yeah, yeah. One of the things that's kind of cool about this, I suppose, is that there's a lot of space for art. I mean, they're even like wasting space here, like putting like, you know, a map and stuff like that. Um, I, I imagine they wanted the cards to be all the same size, right? And they are, it's all consistent. This could be a lot smaller too. So I'll be an, I'll keep an eye out on that for table space and how much table space it takes up. Um, but the, I mean, they, these could certainly be regular sized and still not be crowded. There's a lot of room here. Um, but it helps make it clean too in the look. So we'll see. Let's look at some minis. Let me clear off some of this dust. My goodness. Wow. All right. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some that are broken, but that's, you know, oh, just kind of to be expected. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, they are uh, washed in the kind of the sun drop you would know from Awaken Realms, but each one kind of has its own fancy in-universe kind of uh, speech, but they're made to look nice, which is cool. That's helpful. All right, we can zoom, zoom in a lot here. I don't think I have any super large ones. We'll focus. Okay, so uh, again, it looks like they've even painted the rim, which again, it looks nice. It looks nice. Uh, so this is a prototype one, is obviously, but sculpt design is still kind of king anyway. So it, he actually has the symbol on his uh, palm, which is great. It adds, it, it helps paint it a lot. You can get some nice OSL or object source lighting, some glow in there if you do paint it. Um, a 3D base, which is also appreciated. Um, it looks like this is 3D printed, so it's probably a 3D print resin. Yeah, definitely. They, you can see they've cleaned it up there. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. There's a uh, some some symbols here, uh, or not symbols, uh, the pattern. However, it is very thin. It looks like it takes a wash well, but you know this isn't the final plastic either. The fingers look thick enough to actually do well too, which is nice. I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, his face looks great. He's got eyebrows. He's got a mustache. Hair looks nice. He has a little bit of a ponytail. Uh, nice sword, at least for now, it's not too thick. It looks just right. I would like it to kind of stay that way if we can. Um, he's coming off the base. You can see that there's the base, and then he's off of it with both of his arms, and his legs are even going forward, so it makes him look very dynamic, which I do appreciate. He got the two swords, of course. Um, really, really like that. I think it looks great. I like the layers. I like a lot of it. All right, come on out. Okay, so there's a little piece here that uh, that fell off. So we'll see where that is. Probably like a ponytail or something like that. We'll we'll take a look. Uh, he's got his hook for the little head. If you're going monster hunting, a nice skull there. Uh, I like his base a lot. Those chains look great. Hopefully they can keep that. The whole leg there is good. Again, I love the layers of leather armor that they have. Uh, the fact that he's bald is also nice. Collar up. Again, they only have one sword out. Very fancy sword, though. You can tell it's a, you know, it, it, it's not just some soldier sword uh, at all. I don't know where that piece comes from. I'll have to take a look uh, a little bit closer because it looks fairly complete to me. No, probably uh, the rest of the handle here, I bet. But that's what it is. But anyway, yeah, no, it looks good. All the class look good. Again, all the texture looks nice. Just want to make sure that that stays, especially at the scale, but he looks great. You can see the 3D printer. That's what those layers are there. That won't be in the final miniature. It'll actually look better uh, with that. All the features, by the way, in the face look very well defined, which I like to see as well. All right, I'm going to keep that piece together. <laughs> All right, let's say we got three more, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at a crouching one. Uh, I always find it interesting when people make crouching or sitting minis. Um, just because they are kind of, uh, oh, what would you say, uh, a little bit more reserved, right? So to make them interesting, you really want to kind of uh, be kind of fancy there. So he has a much shorter sword here, as you can see. 
and then a normal long one there. Uh, I do like how he's crouched, but not on the base, he's crouched up. Uh, one of the things that's kind of nice is it keeps him uh, about as tall, right? You don't want a little tiny miniature, uh, per se, because they, they can be almost hard to, you know, kind of grab, and, you know, they look a little diminutive and smaller. So it's nice that he's raised up for that, for height purposes, but then also for interest. And, again, this is one of the benefits of sculpting a base, is you can include the base in the sculpts. So they don't all have to stand flat. Um, which he's definitely not. I love the crouched pose. Looks very nice, natural, nimble, cool. I loved the gloved hands that this guy has. Um, his hair texture is different, uh, which is nice to see. Actually kind of has a style to the hair, which is cool. Really appreciate seeing that. Very, very cool mini. All right. I'll take a look at this one because I know this one's broken as well. The sword came off. Um, What's nice is, at least for my gameplay and review, I'll be able to glue that on just fine. Resin breaks cleanly more often than not, and so it glues on cleanly as well. But there you can see the, 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 pretty much all of the sword. It just kind of just broke right there. Um, that being said, this is actually smart to do. So it's actually attached to the head here, which is great to do uh, for the miniature, especially the final version of the mini. Um, it'll just help secure it a little bit, which is always kind of helpful. Again, using the uh, base to kind of, uh, uh, you know, make it dynamic. So it comes this way and it comes this way. And the center of gravity or the, you know, it tends to be pretty good. So it's not going to like topple over or do anything crazy. And height wise, it's still pretty close. He's actually a little bit taller, um, but not by a whole bunch. He is kind of scrunched here. Um, again, we got the skull there, but a very unique style rocks, which I also appreciate. And of course, we got the kind of magical symbol there. The bottom of the boot looks good. Wrappings look good. Textures look good, especially that chain mail right there. I like seeing that. Um, overall, just again, very, very cool. Uh, what to do with this fill? It's probably going to be the biggest question there. Um, obviously, just making it shadow works. Um, and I do like that, at least right now, the sculpt has a lip. It's not flat. Um, but, uh, yeah, that looks good. I was going to say even the side of the face looks a little weird, but uh, from the side, definitely it doesn't actually, um, might a little bit from that angle, but, uh, otherwise very cool. So again, that sort of be sticking out there. Uh, but I still dig that. Well, it looks like another piece, perhaps I'll just, I'll keep them all there. We'll see. Again, it's kind of hard on these resin things. I'm still going to blame, uh, uh, the, uh. Border Patrol or, you know, whoever took it, um, just blame the government, really. That's that's what we all do anyway, right? Again, uh, textured hair looks great. Really, really like the style there. Uh, I think it looks good. The wash uh, looks like uh, kind of plopped there and then went forward, right? So there's a little bit of an odd line there, but that's still part of his hair as well. Um, so this is coming straight out. Ideally, this would be uh, ABS if they're going to keep this. I really like the sculpt, by the way. It's a very unique um, stance that I really, really appreciate. Uh, but we want to make sure that doesn't end up really bendy or anything like that. So putting that as ABS plastic, I suppose the PVC would be good. He's going to have some green on his with the leaves, which again, I also appreciate a lot. Uh, even the sculpted parts coming out of the, uh, coming off the base a little bit. Um, this is textured under here, or, you know, you can see the lines where it's sculpted, it's not just flat and smooth. And it is angled up, which I very much appreciate. This is a great mini. This might actually be my favorite one sculpt-wise, just because I appreciate those little touches. The fact that this isn't flat, right? The fact that he is coming off the base. The fact that there's going to be a multiple textures and colors on the base. The fact that he's holding his sword two-handed but jutting it out like that while leaning this leg just a little bit forward. So he's leaning a little forward. He's not standing straight up. There's so much, I think, to like about this one. I'm glad I ended on this one. The armor as well looks great. The different clasps and textures and some soft lining. Um, if you didn't know, you didn't just put, like, chain mail and a metal cuirass or whatever right against your, you know, your your skin. That would just, you know, feel all sorts of sweaty and nasty. You had some kind of padding or under armor there. Um, yeah, like the the, even his ears, look at that. Like, it just looks great. Great looking minis. Okay, so that's kind of what we got here. We got a whole range of them, which I do really appreciate. Really, really like these. I think they look 
really, really nice. Really diverse, too, which is great. I can't wait to see the other ones, the monster minis. I imagine are going to look really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, you know, and if I, if I can get any of those, I'll unbox them for you. I'll let you guys know. But otherwise, that's the Witcher Lease unboxing. Uh, I'll go get started on playing it and let you know what I think in my review. Thanks, guys.